Mr. President, I'm Bill Nye, CEO of the Planetary Society, the world's largest non-governmental space interest organization. We're a nonpartisan organization funded by over 50,000 members, people around the world with different political beliefs who are united in their support for space science and exploration. Ever since it was created, NASA has had bipartisan support. You have the opportunity to provide clear direction to our nation's space program. The advances and discoveries made on your watch could be historic. As you consider NASA's direction and its new leadership team, the Planetary Society's Board of Directors and I would like to offer five recommendations for the United States Space Program during your tenure. Number one, keep the planet Mars as the goal for human space exploration. We strongly recommend against starting over. Let's maintain all of the existing programs, robotic missions, crew capsules, and rocket programs already in development. Let's keep this momentum going and get humans to Mars in our lifetimes. Number two, orbit Mars first. We convened a workshop with over 70 of the world's space flight experts to study an affordable, executable set of space missions that would put humans in orbit around Mars in the year 2033. Then two or more years later, we would land the first humans there. This is the same way we explored the moon. Apollo 8 orbited the moon before Apollo 11 landed there. An independent evaluation found this plan for Mars to be technically feasible and affordable, needing only small budget increases to match inflation. Major aerospace industries and other NASA centers have studied similar plans for the sustainable, focused approach. We could get humans to Mars in just 15 years if we commit now and for the long term. Number three, strengthen NASA science. NASA has four science divisions that explore the deep cosmos, our solar system, the sun, and our home planet Earth. NASA engineers and technicians build and launch robotic spacecraft that support tens of thousands of American jobs in engineering, precision manufacturing, and science. I urge you to embrace the full potential of all of NASA's science programs so they can continue to lead the world in science, technology, and exploration. Number four, embrace commercial space. The ambitions and capabilities of private space companies have grown substantially in the past decade. Let's unleash private investment in low Earth orbit and find ways to encourage this next generation of entrepreneurs and inventors to blaze a trail to Mars and beyond. There's a new movement for space happening today. Let's keep it going. Number five, five over five. Here's what I'm talking about. Our citizens expect so much of NASA. The organization is often asked to do a lot with not quite enough. We recommend that you propose a 5% boost to NASA's budget every year for the next five years, five over five. These small increases would give NASA the resources necessary to achieve its goals. This is money that gets spent on Earth in the United States and supports tens of thousands of jobs across the country. Without these budget increases, NASA won't have the ability to send humans anywhere. Not to the moon, not to Mars, not anywhere. In Congress, there is bipartisan support for increasing NASA's budget. Your administration has the opportunity to lead by taking this critical first step. Mr. President, I would be pleased to discuss these recommendations with you the vice president or members of your staff in person. Since we were founded in 1980, the Planetary Society has worked with both parties to advance space science and exploration. For decades, our members have supported the mission to Pluto that became New Horizons. We support the missions to Mars, including Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and the upcoming Mars 2020 rover. We recently helped NASA begin work on a new mission, the Europa Clipper, to explore the ocean moon of Jupiter that may harbor life. We support the space telescopes, Kepler, Spitzer, Hubble, and Webb. Next time you visit the halls of Congress, take pride in the space images that hang on office walls. 
space brings out the best in us. There are two questions deep within each of us. Where did we come from? And are we alone in the universe? To answer these questions, we have to explore space. Historic discoveries await us. With your leadership, we may find life elsewhere in the cosmos, get humans on the Martian surface, and witness the opening of a new marketplace in space. Thank you for considering our recommendations. The Planetary Society urges you to embrace NASA's potential and make investments that will advance space science and exploration for all humankind. Thank you.